Under the annotate tab for the ground floor plan, I'm going to click on this color field legend. Now you can see that this places a legend in a view to indicate the meanings of color fields for rooms or areas. So if I create and click this, say in the top right corner where the legends are, what I can do is change the space type to rooms and the color scheme to number. I'm gonna click okay. You're gonna see it's going to be calculating that. So now for each of the rooms, they're gonna have a different color assigned depending on what their room number is. And this is based off this being room one, two, three, four, and five. But what I want this to do is to show up the room names rather than the numbers. So I'm gonna go edit scheme. I'm gonna change this to be, let's say name instead of number for the colors. We'll click okay. If we apply that, you're now gonna see that each room has its own color applied to it and it's got this color schedule at the top here as well. So it's really handy for something like a room or area plan. You wouldn't necessarily show this on your standard ground floor plan, but it is something that is very useful and worth knowing about, so I thought I'd show you that. If you'd like to get access to all of the course files, materials, and resources, as well as 20 hours of ad-free content, you can feel free to check out the full course on my website. I'll see you there.